I want to explore a conspiracy theory, but I just have no idea what I want to do yet. And if there's any video of anything that you guys want me to explain, please leave a comment down below and let me know. If there's anything that you guys want me to do, please let me know in the comment section. Comment section. Comment section. Comment section. Comment section. It's finally here. For the past few months, I've been asking you guys to find me somewhere to explore, somewhere mysterious with a detailed story behind it. And just last night, I got a message that made all of my nightmares come true. A man named Scott emailed my manager saying this. Hello Sherman, I'm sending you this via email because I feel like the odds of you seeing my comment are fairly low and I knew that I had to get this to you. I live in a small town in California and ever since my wife and I moved here seven years ago, we constantly hear the famous Festus story. It goes something like this. A man named Festus and his wife Annabelle lived in a cabin in California. When they were in their late 50s, Annabelle died and Festus went into what the neighbors called deep depression. Nobody saw him for months, but one day in the middle of the night, one of the neighbors heard something walking in their backyard. The neighbor looked out the window expecting to see a dog or a deer, but what they saw was Festus crawling on his hands and knees like an animal. The man yelled at Festus, what are you doing? Get out of my backyard. What do you think you're doing? Festus looked at the man through the window with a blank face and says, I'm trying to find my dinner. The neighbor continues to yell at Festus until Festus finally runs off into his garage and is not seen for another set of months. Okay, so this is this is pretty weird. Okay, no doubt this is a very weird story, but it gets way worse. He never left the house to get food. Nobody ever saw anyone go to the house and drop off any supplies, nothing. But just because he wasn't seen does not mean he wasn't heard. Often people would hear Festus screaming and crying as if somebody was attacking him. They tried calling the cops, but every time the cops went to Festus's house, they would just walk back out as if everything was fine. But the screams got worse and worse. And now when people tell the story, they say that he sounded possessed, like a demon was inside of him. They say the scream sounded like someone altered the voice to be deeper, but it sounded too perfect. They also say they heard lots and lots of construction in the house, but nobody made anything of that till later. Festus would constantly talk to himself, and when the kids found out about their crazy neighbor, they were quick to try to mess with him. But then one day, the kids went to Festus's yard to try to scare him, and suddenly, the kids run away, but without screaming and without making a face, not even swinging their arms. Okay, this is getting a little weird. When the parents took the kids to the police station to take their reports, the kids' stories all matched up. The kids say they went into the man's backyard and he was standing in the back door, already looking in their direction, looking at them as soon as they entered. When they got closer, they said a light turned on right next to Festus, and they saw the terrifying sight. This is how they described Festus, which is absolutely terrifying. His arms were longer than normal, almost as if someone had pulled his arms and stretched them out of place. His body was stained red and black, his hair completely dyed red, and his neck hanging over his chest again like it had been stretched. He looked like he had no eyeballs, only eye sockets, and his mouth wide open, looking like he was yawning. This is the terrifying part. The kids say they all froze. They did not let out a scream or run. They just stood there in fear and in shock. Then out of nowhere, Festus lets out a loud scream that one of the kids described as the way it sounds when a nice car turns on, mixed with a loud siren. I'm gonna try to imitate what that sounds like using some stuff I'll find over the internet right now. That sounds like it would be pretty freaking terrifying. The story gets worse. Let's continue. The kids say that that is all that they can remember. The cops thought the whole thing was fake and decided they would go to Festus's house one last time and see for themselves if the story was true or not. But when the cops went to Festus's house, he was gone. When they searched his things, they found nothing. The cops only describe a weird smell of rotten tomatoes, whatever that means. The cops waited to see if Festus would come back, but nothing, no sign of him. And about two months later, the house was sold to another family, a man, a wife, their five-year-old daughter, and their dog. Now, nobody told the new neighbors about the story as they were just happy someone else was living in Festus's house besides Festus. But five months later, the little girl went missing. They conducted a search for the little girl and found nothing. The only thing that was noted was the fact that the search dogs kept barking at the floor of the house in the kitchen. The chief ordered to see the blueprints of the house and called it a dead end as there was no basement or any type of area under the house when it was built. The family said one very weird thing. They kept on finding packets of ketchup in their trash can, but they never had any packets of ketchup. But the cops had nothing to make of this, and about a week later, the five-year-old was presumed dead. But even worse, a few days later, the dog goes missing. So this family was fed up and in depression, 
they moved away. Now the third family is where shit hits the fan. A man named Raul and his wife Alessandra moved into the house just a few months after the previous family. Everything seemed fine. Again, the neighbors keeping everything a secret. They all got acquainted and the neighbors became friends with the new family. One day Raul was speaking to one of the neighbors and said he needs a new housekeeper. When asked what the problem was, Raul said the house had an overwhelming smell of ketchup. Nobody knew what the big deal was with ketchup, but at that point everyone knew something was wrong. Then one night, as Raul and his wife are sleeping, he hears a noise in the kitchen. He gets up and heads towards the noise. This freaks me out. Okay, when he gets to the kitchen, he sees someone looking extremely deformed walking away from the fridge with a bottle of ketchup in his hand. Raul screams and a scuffle breaks out between Raul and what people say seemed to be Festus. But Raul could not grab Festus or get a grip on him as his body was very slippery. And Festus ended up running away into the backyard into the darkness, leaving a trail of blood in the snow. Raul, covered in Festus's juices, calls the cops extremely traumatized. Listen to this, guys. When the cops got there, there, they found that one of the floorboards in the kitchen was slightly tilted upwards. When asked about it, Raul said it was not like that before he went to bed that night. The cops lifted one floorboard and three other floorboards just lifted with it. A stairway appears. The cops go down into the darkness and what they found will leave you completely speechless. It was a small bed, a microwave, and a dresser. The cops opened the dresser and multiple animal carcasses rolled out. Fleshy bones and still fresh blood on some. There was also leftover meat all across the walls of the microwave as if it had been heated and exploded in the microwave. Above the microwave was a dog collar with Jericho written on the dog tag, which is the name of the previous neighbor's dog. Now this this is just like, I don't know if I believe this. The cops found Fetus's wife's head detached from the body laying on the pillow of the small bed and then the clothes of a five-year-old neatly folded in the corner of the room. They did tests on the meat and realized that it had been the five-year-old's body that Festus was eating with ketchup. Another weird thing, there was no DNA of his wife. Maybe he ate his whole wife, I don't know very weird. But from that day forward, the town did everything to keep this story a secret as they knew it would destroy the population and their town where they grew up. It would become abandoned and everyone would have to move away. The sheriff would lose his job and hundreds of others work in the small town. So they made the decision to call this a made up story. But time and time again, the police station receives calls from people saying they can hear someone screaming in the woods behind their house and people revving their engine in places where it's impossible to take a car, meaning it's probably Festus's demonic scream in the woods. Now you won't be able to find this on the internet because every time someone tries to make a record of it, it gets removed. That's because everyone in the town spam reports the story and hopes it gets deleted. Now, if you really want to test your courage, here are the coordinates of where Festus used to live. Nobody knows exactly which house it is, but this is the one mile radius of where all the concerned calls came from. It's super high up in the mountains, and in that neighborhood, only about two to three people live there. But if you do end up filming something about this or even going there, do not say the name of the town as it will most likely get removed off the internet. I've linked some cabins for rent in the area for you to check out. Again, nobody knows which house is Festus's, but these are my best guesses. Even if you don't get in his house, he could be living in any of the houses near you or even stalking you from the woods right outside. Good luck. Now, when I first heard this story, like anyone else, I didn't exactly believe the whole thing. I tried searching everywhere for the story. I asked everybody that I could. Nobody had any answers. No one has ever heard of this story. There was no record of it on the internet. I found nothing. Nowhere online and nobody to ask. So I started wondering how real this could be. So I did what anybody would do and I asked for some opinions from my family. And uh, the guy could pretty much be like in the woods behind us or like watching us or something. God, what kind of story is that? That's an and why did he send you the location? Um, I'm gonna go there. Where? Not. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. No, you fucking not. Why not? Don't even, don't even think about it. No, you're not. You don't want me to go? What? You don't want me to go over there? So I'm thinking about actually going to that location. What, are you stupid? No, don't go there. Don't even go there. Don't. Oh my God, no. Don't even go there. You Why? stupid. The guy sent me like the, the coordinates of like where to go and, and I think that um I want to go there. Anthony, are you stupid? I huh? don't know where this place is. Yeah. Talk a little bit before you, you do this dumb shit because sometimes you don't think before doing sh Bro, but imagine the, the video though. You don't know this 
location, you don't know this guy, you don't know if you're gonna get killed or what the f is gonna happen. So I, I think that I'm gonna go there. Anthony, why would you, you're literally gonna die, why are you gonna go there? Dude, it just sounds insane. Yeah, okay, exactly, it sounds insane, so don't go to random coordinates, especially after everything the guy told you about it. Bro, but don't imagine? What? But imagine? Yeah, don't imagine it, but then, no, actually, you can imagine it all that you want. Don't actually do it. So, I'm gonna go over there. Anthony, why would you ever do that? Dude, it just sounds crazy, like, to film there. It doesn't sound crazy. It sounds crazy, stupid, and dangerous, and not good for you to go places you don't know about. But imagine? Yeah, imagine what happens to you. Hey, Steph said the same thing, actually. No, I don't think it's safe and I don't think you should go. So, uh, I think that we should go. Oh my god, Snow Vacate? That's gonna be so cute, that's gonna be so much fun. Then I realized there's only one real way to find out. right now okay hello hello I swear someone just moved bro someone just what the f yo seen anybody come out of that house. It's that one right there. What was that? Was that you? 